Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing maximum number of words found in sentences. So a sentence is a list of words that are separated by a single space with no leading or trailing space. And we are given an array of sentences where each sentence represents a single sentence. And we have to return the maximum number of words that appear in each sentence. So we're given a list of three sentences for this example. So in this case, the first example, the first sentence contains five words, the second contains four, and the final contains six. And since the maximum number of words exists in the third line, then we return six. Six representing the maximum number of words found in all sentences. For the second example, we have please wait, that's two words, continue to fight, that's three words, and continue to win is three words. So in this case, like it's possible that multiple sentences contain the same number of words, and in this case we return three, which is pretty much the maximum number of words that we have across all three sentences. So for this question, the number of sentences that we have range from 1 to 100. Every single sentence has a length of up to 100 characters. And the sentences consist of only lowercase English letters and spaces only. And sentence does not have leading or trailing spaces. And all words in sentences are separated by a single space. So to do this question, this is pretty much a simple array question where we would iterate through the whole string array. We will call dot split, which is a method on all string objects. So spoiler alert for our viewers who are new to Java. In this case, this string over here is really an object. So this object has multiple methods on it. And we have one method, which is dot split but it takes in a delimiter and splits the sentence into an array of strings using this delimiter. So let's get started. So the first thing, as usual, is to iterate through an index, initialize it to zero, and the termi termination condition for this follow would be index less than sentences.length. And after every iteration, we will increment the index by one in this for loop. Using this index, we can get the current sentence. So this is our current sentence. And this will be equals to sentences at index. And once we're done, we will do a split on this current sentence. So this will be a string array. So words equals to current sentence dot split. And we will specify the empty white space character as our delimiter. So we will get the number of words here. So once done, we can do pretty much define a variable that indicates the maximum words that we found thus far. So this will be initialized to zero and we will set max words to be equal to math.max of itself and the length of words over here. And that's pretty much it. At this point, we will return max words and that's pretty much our approach. But to better explain how this algorithm works, especially for our viewers who would like to see how this approach would look with this simple test case here. Let's try tracing out this solution using this solution. So max words in this case, ah sorry I came from the land of snake so I need some time to acclimatize here. So max words is equals to zero the first iteration over here would be index equals to zero. And the current sentence will be the first sentence. Let's expand this so that we can see everything here. And let's place this here. So we have five words. So understandably, this words string array would be containing five words. So Alice, Alice, okay, I messed up the keys here. And Bob, love, Nico. So there's five words here. And max words in this case would be the max of itself and five. And this gives us five. So let's set this to five and move on to the next iteration. So the next iteration would be a sentence of I think so too. 
and words would be I think so too just like this and max words will be the max of itself and this so it will remain at 5 and now we are finally at the final sentence this is great thanks very much so this is great this is great thanks very much and in this case max words would be max of 5 and 6 so we will set max word to 6 and return max word as 6 and if we check the solution let's try to expand this again you can see that the solution is 6 so looks like this works let's do one quick check again because as we know from experience tracing doesn't mean we can catch all syntax errors so let's try to find any syntax errors everything looks fine so let's run code and uh, pray for the best and it works let's submit this and there we go so fortunately our solution works this time so let's take a look at the time complexity of this approach if we let n to be the number of sentences and m to be the number of characters in each sentence then we can see that in this case we are since we're iterating through all sentences over here this for loop will have an outer time complexity of o n and within this iteration we're doing a split on every single string so understandably java would have to iterate through all characters in the current sentence so understandably split would be o m and since we have an OM runtime operation within each iteration, the final time complexity will be O and M. For the space in this case, like each of these variables over here are O1, in the sense they don't scale with the size of N or M. Actually, maybe it does. Uh, in this case, like um, for this current sentence over here, it scales with respect to the number of characters because that's pretty much a copy of the sentence at this, at this point. So, we technically can make this more efficient by reusing this list over here. So, but of course, it will be, it will be a tad harder to trace, but it's fine. And split in this case, yeah, words in this case will be a copy of every single item in sentences. So, this would also be, this, will, this is also going to take O M space to store the words in this list of strings but this is fine this is decent so space complexity in this case would be o m and that's pretty much it for this question i hope this was useful if you like it please give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video